Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? And welcome back. And now we're just going to have a quick run through design three. So hopefully you've watched the last video. Excuse me, I've got hiccups today. Um, let's have a click on design three. And here we are on the interface of design three. So just like the last video, let's go and pick a banner. I'm just going to go straight for my normal header there. Um, I'm going to leave the like button code out for this one, for instance, but I'm going to display my own step one image. Yeah, so I'm going to go and I'm going to choose my file. Um, and so let's find a step one image that I created and just click that one. OK, so now that is automatically going to take over this one. It's not going to use this one anymore. OK, now let's say I actually want a graphic in here rather than text. So look, I'm going to go and upload an image and I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to use my welcome a welcome thing I did okay so that's just going to upload the image into that little text box and once it's uploaded what I do want to make sure I do is click the center button because I want to make sure that that send that's aligned center and look it says welcome to the social networking academy and you know watch the video below so I'm going to put nothing in this box here but what I am going to do is I'm going to display my own step two image. So I'm simply going to go and get a step two image. OK, and then I'm going to, go to put in the video embed code. And here's where you can choose. Yeah, you can use YouTube or you can use Easy Video Player. It's entirely up to you. For this example, I'm going to take the Easy Video Player code. OK, and I'm going to put it in there because with the YouTube code, you can literally go to YouTube, get your embed code and paste it in. If you're using something else like Easy Video Player, then do make sure that you center the video. OK, so all you need to do is just put in these little um, this little piece of code here, center. All right, which makes sure that that video is going to go right in the center of the page. Um, so that's this little um icon here with the word center and then this bit again at the end with a forward slash center okay and that's your easy video player embed code what I will do I think as well um, maybe in the next video I'll just show you how you go and get your YouTube code as well for that okay um, and again in here you can just put whatever you want you can put an image you can put text you can do whatever yeah um, and you might want to do a U, the URL of an image. You might decide to put the URL of an image in there. It's entirely up to you. OK. Um, and then you can put your opt-in form code here. Um, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? It's there. OK. Um, and let's grab this code here and then preview that. And that's just going to take a couple of seconds to bring up. OK. And boom, boom there it is. OK. Um, and as you can see, I've put my, you know, step one and then step two. Now, let's just have a look and see what it's going to look like if I use the reveal. Yeah. So let's go back and edit this and say, well, actually, I want to hide the content from my fans until they like the page. So what I'm going to suggest, because the reveal uses these boxes here, and then when you click on it, it takes you to straight through to step two. This box here needs to say like the page before you see the rest of it. So you might actually want to say here, watch the video enclosed or, you know, reveal the video by clicking the like button or something. OK, you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's just make sure we've got that code and then preview. OK, so now, oh, look, see, I'm in Chrome and it got rid of my graphics. So let me just put my graphics in. Uh, that's my header image. And I've got my own step one image that I wanted to use. And I've got my own step two image that I wanted to use. There we go. OK. Um, but the image look, the image in the box look, it has changed. So if you do use Chrome, that's just the one little drawback. But as I said, in Firefox, it doesn't do that. Um, and then let's preview. OK. So that's going to take us to the preview page. And on here, you can see there's my header, there's my own like button code, there's my graphic, there's my own uh, step two, there's my EVP video in the center, and all the rest of it. And this is what people are going to see first when they click in, and then this is what people are going to see when they hit the page. Okay, so let's go and install. Okay, so let's choose um, Coffee Club again. Let me just grab it 
because it's uh there we go i just had to re uh reset it okay good so i want to click add iframes yeah onto this page and we go down like we did in the last video and we click on our iframe page and it gives us our little box to put our key in so we put our key in there and click continue and you'll notice i don't like this page yet okay so what's going to happen is when this actually comes up, um, then I'm going to have to like the page before I can see the rest of the content, which is what the whole reveal code button thing is all about. So I've refreshed the page. Uh, so let's just uh, let that find itself. Great. OK. Um, oh, my head has disappeared. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to quickly go and put that in. Not sure what happened there, but anyway, there's my um, there's my reveal. Okay, so basically there's my header, and then it's I'm t it's, I'm saying click the like button. This isn't the best example because you know the like button's not over there; it's up there. <laughs> um, but uh, if you've got your like button embedded, then of course it will be directly above that, which is great. Um, and then this is kind of your image. So this is what you'd want to use to say, hey, um, you know, this is check out my content or whatever. Click the like button above and then all will be revealed, whatever it is you want to put there. OK, and then people click the like button um, and that should automatically bring up your page. Ba boom. OK, and that's then what they'll see. So, OK, so this scroll bar will disappear in a second. Um, and then there's the rest of your page, which again will have images in it or maybe your video or whatever it is you want to have in there. OK, so that is how to use uh, template three. Um, now, I think what might be worth me doing, let me just have a look at the time, seven minutes, um, is maybe doing one more video and just running through um, template four with you um, because of the sizes uh, within template four. Let's just open that up. Um, we've got some sort of sizing issues here with the video and the opt-in form and also I can show you how you can put images in there and also make the images clickable um, to go through to your page if you don't want an opt-in form or whatever on your page. So, um, and I wanted to show you YouTube as well, didn't I? I just had to get that embed code for YouTube. So what we'll do is we'll do just one extra video where I'll just run through a couple of those things and then I am going to leave you guys to completely go and play with these yourself. Um, all right. Um, and I, so I will see you in the next video.